Hi. Under the guidelines of opening the bank account, know your customer is one of the important parameters. So, what is the customer acceptance policy by the bank? So, this we will be seeing in today's video. Reserve Bank of India has therefore advised the banks to exercise due diligence in understanding the customer and the nature of their business. This is guided by RBI uh, in 2005 as follows. What is the objective? Objective of KYC guidelines is to prevent banks from being used. Reserve Bank of India has advised the banks to frame their KYC policies incorporating the following four key parameters. What are they? One, they call it CAP, Customer Acceptance Policy. Two, Customer Identification Procedure. Number three, Monitoring of Transactions. Number four, Risk Management. Apart from this, we will also see other aspects of KYC and also something called UCIC, Uniform Customer Identification Code. So this uh, are the parameters which we'll be seeing in today's video. What are those four uh, points which RBI wanted to look into? Customer acceptance policy. In that we have close to four points. So those four points are no account is opened in anonymous name or fictitious name. Point number two. On the basis of the client know, knowing the client customer be categorized into low medium and high risk customers based on their profile and the transaction style nature of the transactions point number three documents and other information should be collected in respect of different categories of customers depending on perceived risk what is perceived risk depending on the high cash volumes of transactions and high transaction that is happening in the account based on that and profiling of the customer decides on the category whether low or medium or high risk point number four not to open an account or close an existing account if the bank is unable to apply appropriate customer due diligence so just because it's difficult to do the due diligence bank should not be going ahead just closing the account without identifying in the, identifying the true nature of the transaction that has happened already into the account then it should be clearly spelt out what is the customer acceptance policy by the bank and necessary checks should be provided. The second point, customer identification procedure. The customer identification means identifying the customer and verifying his or her identity by using the reliable, independent source, documents, data or information that comes to the bank. Various, verify the legal status through proper documents. Verify that any person purporting to act on behalf of legal person is so authorized and also verify the identity, identity of such person. Understand the ownership and control structure of the customer and determine the natural persons who ultimately control the legal person. So these are the points which you need to see. Monitoring of transactions. The transactions of the customer should be continuously monitored. Special attention should be paid to all complex, unusually large transactions and all the unusual matters with no apparent economic or visible lawful purpose. Large cash transactions inconsistent with the normal activity and the profile of the customer should be monitored. Bank balances should continue to maintain proper record of all cash transactions, both deposits and withdrawals of rupees one lakh and above. Uh, sorry, rupees five lakhs and above. Such transactions and those suspicious nature should be reported to AML KYC cell, which is formed by the government of India. Risk management, there are four points to be looked into. Banks should devise procedures for creating risk profiles of their existing and new customers. Point number two, banks should apply various anti-money laundering measures, keeping in view the risk involved in the transaction. Point number three, Bank should ensure that their audit machinery is staffed adequately with individuals who are well versed with the bank's policies and procedures. Point number four, concurrent and internal auditors should specifically check and verify the application of KYC procedures at the branches and comment on the lapses observed in this regard. 
So these are the four points which RBI insists upon the bank to follow it up scrupulously. And the other aspects of KYC, the employee should be trained properly to identify the proper customer for the bank. And the customer education, customer should be also aware through literature and pamphlets to uh, on the objective of the KYC requirement. So credit, debit, smart and gift card. Bank should also ensure that appropriate KYC procedures are applied before issuing these cards. An existing accounts revised guidelines would apply to all new customers. Bank should ap also apply them to the existing customers on the basis of materiality and the risk involved. So the procedure to be adopted by the banks while complying the KYC are 1. Identification of depositors 2. Control of financial frauds 3. Identification of money laundering and the last one monitoring of the large cash value transactions. So we are coming to the last part of the, uh, the video where uh, we are going to cover about UCIC Uniform, I'm sorry, Unique Customer Identification Code. So what is that code about? In June 2012, the Reserve Bank of India advised banks to initiate steps to allot a unique customer identification code to all their customers. Initially, it is to be allotted to new customers and subsequently to the existing one. So they, some, some banks call it customer ID. The working group constituted by government proposed the introduction of such code, code number by banks and financial institutions for setting up a centralized KYC registry. Availability of UCIC will help the banks to identify a customer, track the facilities availed, monitor financial transactions in various accounts, improve risk profiling, take a holistic view of customer profile and the last point, smoothen banking operations of the customers. So these are the, the various points which Reserve Bank of India said. Uh, if UCIC uniform customer identification code can be like, you know, uh, uniform code across all banks so that once you enter that code the entire credit history of the client uh, uh, will come on the screen itself irrespective of which banking relationship the customer has uh, been maintaining so hope uh, this video about KYC was very useful to you give your comments on the subscription and then share this to the people who are actually in need of knowing more about banking and KYC procedures thank you very much for patiently watching bye bye